I want to show you a site that I use a lot. I use this pretty much exclusively to record my finds when I'm metal detecting. I use it for research. I make maps on it. I think you'll like this. It's called caltopo.com. Just type in www.caltopo.com in your browser window. This is what will come up. It will be either be the map or maybe it will be a satellite image. If you have a Google account or a Yahoo account, you can sign in. You're going to need to have one of those accounts because you're going to have to have that to save the map. There's um, some links here, these preset layers. I don't use those. I'll use the Add New Object, and then I'll use this little screen right here that drops down. You can see here as you move your mouse around, you get latitude and longitudes and elevations. Let me zoom in. I'm going to turn on, show you how this works. You mouse over this window here, and this pops up. Base layer. For my base layer, I usually always use satellite. And mouse over here, stack new layer. Click on that, and you get a new map layer you can add. This is what you can add. All of these. I'm going to go ahead and add topographical map. And you can adjust the transparency right here. Now, I don't know anything about this area. I'm going to go back to satellite. Let's say I've done my research in uh, Civil War records or something, or the official records, and I believe there's a camp here. Say I've read a diary. Certain there's a camp here from a little map that I've seen drawn. And I've been out there and I've been detecting. Uh, maybe before I go out, I take Cal Topo, and I'm going to draw try to replicate the soldier's map that he had. I'm in satellite. I am think I'm going to pull up the topo so I can kind of see what's going on with the creek and everything a little bit better. And I know that the camp was just on the, say, the south side of the creek along the old military road. And maybe I go ahead and mark my old military road. Maybe I'll look for it even. I'm going to stack a new layer. I'm going to go into the historic maps. Here's 1885 to 1950. Now, they don't have these for everywhere. If you click on it, whoops, and you make it opaque and nothing shows up, then they just don't have it for that area. All right, so there it is. And let's say that this was the old military road. Maybe I want to label this as the old military road. So I'm going to draw a military uh, the road here. I'm going to right click. New. I'm going to make a new line. I'm going to label it. The old military road. You can add other information in here. Um, I could copy the text out of the soldier's diary if it was on the internet and paste it in here. I could paste the website address in here. It won't store it as a link, but it'll have the address there that I could copy and paste. And maybe I want to make the actual road, uh, maybe I just want to keep it yellow. That'll work. The style. I've got these to choose from. I'm just going to keep this dash that's on there right now. And weight of 6. We'll see what that looks like. Say OK. Sometimes this doesn't work and you have to go back in and do it again, but I hear, well, it told us something there. Anyway, I'm going to say this is the old military road coming down through here. And the diary indicated the camp was right south of the creek along that road. Let me go ahead and hide this old map. Zoom in a little bit more. Now I'm going to draw say the camp, let's say he even said it was, um, no, let's say they were a hundred feet off the road. 
100 feet. So I can go up here to measure, or I can just right click down here and I can do measure distance. Click here. Now, right up here, it's going to tell me the distance. There's 100 feet right there. Maybe let's say it was 500 feet off the road. How about that? That sounds a little better. So there is 504 feet, and that was right in here. So we're going to start our camp there. I'm going to say new polygon. I'll leave this purple, and I'm going to call it the pond run camp. You can see it already tried to fill it in down there. It's just because I was practicing with this while ago. Pond run camp. Say okay. I'm going to start it here. up along the creek I'd say that was roughly what I think the limits of his camp were so maybe I'll take this out then I'll do a screenshot of this take it into the field maybe I'll uh, do a screenshot of the satellite uh, of course I've gotten permission from the landowners maybe I've got a little tag here with the landowners name in it and phone number so I don't forget I can right click on this. I can edit it. I can drag these little points out if I want to. I want to delete a point, right click, delete it. Maybe I want to pull this back in along the road, which you know, be so precise, but anyway. You get the idea? Alright, I go out to the place and I'm going to do some metal detecting. Wait, first let me back up. Over here, this is showing up under lines and polygons. That's all good and fine, but if we say add new object, a new folder, we can call it pond. Oh, here it's wanting to fill it in for me anyway. Pond run camp. We're going to call it the pond run camp folder. There it is. Now I want to move these up into there. Can't really drag and drop, so I'll edit right here on folder pond run camp okay um, here's pond run camp I can also right click on it I'm sorry left click edit and move it in there that way too now they're in the pond run camp folder with Kaltopu uh, you're allowed five maps with the free version which is what this is five maps doesn't sound a lot like a lot but I've got all of my sites all my information on one map right now and I've got hundreds of uh, pieces of data in there for the state that I'm in so I've just got probably uh, 50 or so of these folders on one map you can also at that point you can export the map as a KML file for Google Earth um, to your desktop to save it as a backup that way you can import it you can import a KML file you can um, secure this with uh, as far as um, uh, put privacy on it I think it's got three settings after you save your map which again you have to be logged in to Google or Yahoo to save it but you can um, make it publicly viewable viewable with just the URL, the new address that it'll give you, or uh, viewable only to you, I believe, are the three options. So you can share it, you can send it to your hunting buddies or whoever with the URL and they can look at your maps. They can't adjust, they can't change it, but they can view it. Alright, so anyway, let's say we've screenshotted this, emailed it to ourselves, have it on our tablet, we've gone out there, found the site, and we've got permission to detect, and we've found some some relics out here. Let's say over here I'm going to say a new marker and say right here I found a US belt plate. How about that? And I'm trying to be a little more precise and I'm going to say it was uh, it was uh, let's say it was eight inches deep. U.S. belt plate, 8 inches deep. 
pull that back up again. I'll show you. Um, here's your coordinates. Now, if you GPS it in the field, if you carry your GPS with you, that's great. You can type that in right there uh, in decimal form, and it's going to pop it in there for you. If you're there at the site and you're like, I know I was right. Looks like there's a telephone line or something here. I was right by that telephone pole. I can drag this. Yeah, I can drag it in the edit view. I know I was right to the south of that telephone pole, so I'll put it there. You can see it changes the coordinates down here. It's a great way to GPS your finds, keep good track of where they are. Oh, I was going to show you something else with this. Sorry, you can change the style. You've got all these different symbols you can use. I guess you can make some custom ones somehow if you want to look into that. Uh, circles for A5, enter the letters. Mm, let's try that. Style that. Enter letters. This was find number one set. See what that does. Okay, cool. Number one, U.S. belt plate. All right, so we're there. We're detecting. We've located a lot of finds. We found um, over here on the hill. Say we found a bunch of shot bullets all through here, and we didn't want to mark all of them. There are so many, which maybe we should. It's up to you. New. We're going to do a polygon here. We're going to say uh, shot bullets. And again, I want this in the Pond Run Camp folder, which I didn't get the belt plate in there yet. And I'm going to give it a weight of 2, which is what this is, and a fill of whatever we want. We can say a fill of 50 on this one, make it darker. Maybe we'll make the shot bullets red. Alright, and let's say they were all along here. Shot bullets. Belt plate. I'm going to click on the pencil there and I'm going to put this in the Pond Run Camp folder. Alright, there we go. Let's zoom out a little bit. What I want to show you is a range ring. Let me show you that first. Right click. We can actually go down in here. Uh oh, Amber. We don't want to know about that. Alright, Pond Run. Here's our camp. I right click on it, new range ring. If we know for some reason that they went um, five miles out from here, oh no, let's say there's another camp, uh, another camp one mile away. Change this to miles, create. Now I can zoom out, and here's my one mile radius. So that's pretty cool. Or maybe you want to just. Uh, Take them a mile from here and measure distance. Start from here. So they walked up the creek. You can see in the upper right, I'm at 0.8 miles, right up in here. Talking. And there's 0.9. Yeah, we're right there is about a mile. So right around in here, maybe we would want to start looking. And you can always delete those if you don't want them on your map. Anyway, again, you need to sign in through Google. If you try to save it now, it's going to want you to sign in. Okay. But it's a great, 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 great tool. Man, I love this thing. Anyway, just thought you might want to look at this and play with it and try it and start saving your, making a record of your finds that maybe one day somebody will find interest. I don't know, just the archaeologists I just are so down on metal detectors, it seems like, for not, uh, not, well, anyway, they don't know that there's a lot of us out there who are trying to to save the, uh, I don't know what you'd say, historical aspect of this hobby and keep things uh, as, um, record as much as we can. So, 
anyway this is how it is you use it enjoy it I hope you like the video thanks